larger than life. Somewhere after midnight, in my wildest fantasy, somewhere just beyond my reach, someone reaching back for me. Racing on the thunder and rising with the heat. It's gonna take a superman to sweep me off my feet. I went on mountains, meet the heavens above. I went on lightning, split the sea. Now this is the stage where, where my show is going to take place, and, and this is me, and, and this is you. Are you getting all of this? Wait, do you really think that you're gonna come up with a show that can compete with TNO? <laughs> Not only compete, my dear, but soar high above. It all starts with you, if you memorize all these scripts that I've written. Oh yes, your music. And do you really think no one's gonna come rescue me? Oh, I know they will try, but they shall fail. For even now, a pitiful little band of your friends are on their way here. They're looking, they're searching, but they won't find you. No one can get in or out, and everything is falling into plan. Now, come with me. I have much to show you. This is a stage that I have constructed, where my show shall be performed, where my music shall soar, and where your star shall rise. You may as well go ahead and embrace it, Katie, for down here no one can hear you scream. That may be true, but it does have excellent cell phone reception. Chuck! You! What? I should have known your dumb luck would get you in here. That's usually how it works. It's true, but your ignorance has crippled you once again. You forgot to bring a weapon. Soon, your pathetic little show will end. And it begins with your pathetic little life. For now is the hour of your discontent. Not so fast. Dad? Who the devil are you? I'm Montana Walters. This boy's father. I ventured to the BCM, and upon doing so, I found a young hippie lady, and she told me that my son was in trouble. I searched and I found a large hole in the ground, behind a piano. Being the wine connoisseur that I am, I ventured into the hole, hoping it was a wine cellar. This brings us to this moment in time. Now I command you, let my son go. Very well, old man. I'll leave him be. But only long enough for him to witness this. Junior, I've had a good run, but uh, just remember before I go, I'm proud of you, and I love you. I love you too, Dad. And remember, even though the odds seem stacked against you, you can defeat him. You can defeat him. Goodbye, Junior. No, Dad, Dad! You. Listen, Two-Face. You steal my top anchor. 
You ruin my shows. You knock out the guy that brings me coffee, and now you've killed my father. You may have taken everything I care about, but there's one thing that I hold over you that you can never take away, and that's that I'll always be good looking. Now go ahead. Let's see what's behind the mask. Very well. I will grant you this one last request before I send you into the other world. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But a sword will most assuredly hurt you. I don't need a sword to defeat you, Opera Man. The time has come for us to end this. In this dark world, you shall meet your end by... Whoa! Is that all you do is sing? Just trying to add a little drama. Now we end this. Remember, Junior, even though the odds seem stacked against you, you can defeat him. You can defeat him. You can. Oh, for goodness sake, Chuck, throw the can, you imbecile. The can? Chuck, you did it. You better believe I did not. Let's get out of here before it's too late. Why are you carrying me? Because it's the end of the movie and the hero always carries the girl. Now, I should bring a little face and lay one on me, all right? Right.